Hey guys, we are setting up a simple calorie meter here. So we have two styrofoam cups, one inside the other. We're going to measure out 150 millimeters of water with the graduated cylinder and fill the inside cup recording the water volume and mass in the table below. So that was 100 milliliter. Now he's measuring 50 more milliliter so that the total amount of water that goes in the graduated cylinder, we use this beak to pour it is 150 milliliter okay so and then we're gonna attach another piece of wire to another light bulb filament to do this pull the exposed wire through the loop of the bulb filament and twist the wire together and then repeat this procedure with the second piece on the wire and attach it to the other filament of the bulb Yes, these are the alligator clips with which we are going to clip the battery, our makeshift battery. Yes, that's our makeshift battery. Yes. So these alligator clips are going to be hooked onto the battery. And then there is a bulb. You see how it starts lighting up the bulb? Because electricity is flowing through it. The bulb is lighting now. Cool. We are going to place this light bulb in the ziplock. And the whole thing will be placed inside the styrofoam cups. Now, the whole thing was set up. The lid of the styrofoam was closed. And now we see this is our calorie meter, a simple calorie meter. We are going to wait for 30 minutes and later on we are going to calculate the heat energy that was produced as the result of this electricity. We will measure the temperature of the water after 30 seconds and we will calculate the amount of heat energy in joules that was produced. Little fun experiment. Ta-da!